Hi children, welcome back in our online grammar classes. Dear student, I hope you all are fine and enjoying watching this. Keep watching our videos regularly and study regularly. Students, in our previous video, we have finished lesson number 22, that is verbs tenses. Okay, students, in this video, we learn simple present tense and simple past tense. So, simple present tense is used to show the actions which we do regularly or the truth. Okay. Uh, example, I study, I go to school, I drink my milk, I play football. Okay. Sun rises in the east. So, these all sentences are in simple present tense. And for simple past tense, we use simple past tense to show the actions which has already done, okay, which are already done. For example, I ate banana, I wrote my letter, I wrote my answers, okay, I completed my homework. So these all sentences are in simple past tense. So what is the main difference in between? these two sentences or in these two tense so students in simple present tense we use base form of verb okay play go come and in simple past tense we use second form means past form of the main verb like played went came wrote ate spoke okay so in this way, so students, uh, uh, you have learned this lesson. Now today we have to learn the next lesson on page number six zero sixty, that is adverbs. Okay, so please open your textbook on page number six zero sixty, lesson number twenty three. So I will show you uh, the page on my screen only. Okay. Now you can see students here. This is lesson number 23, adverbs. So you know what is mean by adverb. Before these students, we have learned about adjectives. Okay. So students, we know adjectives are words we use to describe a noun. Okay. For describing nouns, we use adjectives. So students, and its definition was, we learned that the word which tells us something more information about a noun is known as adjective. Now what is adverb? Adverb is also same, but adverb is also describing word. It describes verbs, okay? It describes action words so that's why it is known as adverbs okay means it talks more about verbs so we can simply identify adverbs in our sentences so there are many types of adverbs are there but we have to learn in this lesson three types of adverbs so we have to learn first adverb of manner adverb of place and adverb of time Okay, so let's see. We will see this page and we will read. We can see here on the screen, two pictures are shown here. So in the first picture, what is given here? Let's see. An adverb tell us more about the verb. This is the definition. Okay, you have to write five times this definition in your notebook in good handwriting and you have to learn this. An adverb tells us more about a verb okay so to talk about verbs we can use these adverbs okay now let's see the second uh, this picture first picture we can see here two children are there one girl and one boy one ice cream shop is there backside sun is there 
in sky okay stand here and eat quickly it's melting fast soon there won't be any left so dear student there are three words that are given in bold letter that quickly fast and soon so these three words are adverbs because they describe verb stand here and eat quickly eat quickly this quickly word is used to describe action eat quickly okay so that's why this is adverb it's melting fast now this fast word is also described action only melting fast soon there won't be any left okay so there soon there won't be any left this is also described action only that's why these three are adverbs in second picture now we can see the boy is very sad because the ice cream has melted already now it's gone now it's gone okay that always happens to me the boy is saying this now it's gone that always happens to me matlab aisa hamesha hi mere sath hota hai to student these are adverbs now uh, you may understood what is meant by adverb adverb tell us more about a verb okay so adverb is also describing word but it describe to action words or verbs now let's learn their types adverb of manner okay adverb manner so what is mean by manner manner means the way we behave or manner okay sometimes when we do not in us so maybe teacher us us to us don't you have manners okay manners means proper behaving so proper way now let's read its definition an adverb of manner answer the question how okay it answer the question how it tells us how the action is done so it is the answer of how now let's see examples the hair ran fast the hair ran fast now action is ran so we can ask how the hair how did the hair run so its answer is fast so it describes the action how is it happening that's why it is known as adverbs of manner second sentence the lion roared loudly so how did the lion roar loudly so in this way it describes action and it shows the way the lion roar that's why these adverbs are known as adverbs of manner okay now students let's solve this activity question a is given here underline the adverbs of manner what we have to do here we have to underline the adverbs of manners in first two examples we can see where the place or where the position of this adverb manner is after verb this adverb of manners came after verbs ran is verb action word after that past roars loudly so easily we can also identify here now let's take it now students we will solve this activity first here okay the sun shines brightly in the sky first sentence is here the sun shines brightly in the sky so students we can see action is here shines the sun shines now how does the sun shine its answer is brightly so brightly is adverb of manner so let's underline it okay now second sentence the boy shouted loudly action is shouted how did the boy shout loudly so 
loudly is adverb of manner. She sings beautifully. Okay, sentence is she sings beautifully. Now, how does she sing? Its answer is beautifully. So let's underline beautifully. It is our answer. Beautifully is the verb of manner. Okay, it it describes the action. Now, fourth one. Can you play tennis well? Can you play tennis well? So play is action. How can you play tennis? It is given here well. A snail moves very slowly. A snail moves very slowly. So how does a snail move? Slowly is its answer. Okay, so let's underline it. Don't write so fast. Sixth, sixth sentence is don't write so fast. So about write action word uh, adverb word here fast. So underline to fast. Then question number seven. Please cross the road carefully. Okay. So please cross the road carefully, students here. Mm -hmm. Adverb of manner is we have to cross the road, but how carefully? So carefully is our answer. Okay. So students, I hope you are getting my point. You are getting how the adverb of manners are and how can we underline them. So we have completed seven sentences. Sentence number eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. You have to solve it by yourself. Okay. You can take your parents' help too. Otherwise, you can call me for if you have any doubt. Now, next page 61. Page number 61. Adverbs of place. Okay. Students, let's solve. This is the second type of adverb. So, adverb of place as it is given here. Place. So, students, these are adverbs tells us about the place where the action is happening now let's read its definition an adverb of place answers the question where okay adverb of place answers the question where it tells us where the action is done example the boy stood there now students in this sentence we can see the boy stood main verb or action word is here stood so where this action this action is happening where the boy stood there so there is adverb of place okay now activity b we have to solve put a tick for the adverb of place to complete the sentences now first one it's raining we can't play we have to choose adverb of place so outside well so which adverb shows us about place first one only so we have to tick here outside stand up or stand in the corner which adverb is correct stand up in the stand up the corner or stand in the corner stand in the corner so tick to in third one can you wait today or can you wait outside so we are talking about place that's why our answer should be outside fourth one hooray and nas here good at last so which one is correct anas here at last or anas good at last and nas here at last because we are talking about place here and fifth sentence, she built a sand castle there or tomorrow. So place is there. So adverb of place in this sentence is there. So again, we have solved the second activity, students. Okay. So I hope you understood this video very well. If you have any doubt, any difficulty, you can message me or call me. Remaining part, we will continue in our next video. Thank you.